Hi, I'm Sunir Garg. I'm here at the Will's Eye Alumni Society newsroom. And there's a really interesting study I'd like to discuss with you today. It's hard to believe that one of the most innovative research organizations in America today is Google. Google last year presented an interesting paper looking at the ability of computers to use what we call deep learning algorithms, basically the type of artificial intelligence that you might think about in a sci-fi movie, to grade diabetic retinopathy in patients with diabetic eye disease. That's something that we're pretty familiar with, not so surprising. What's more surprising is their recent paper. They have a paper out in Nature Biomedical Engineering in which they took a bunch of publicly available images, both from the UK and the US, and they used a computer to look at the images. And they specifically were looking at cardiovascular risk factors. Now, those of us in clinical medicine know that you can see a lot of things looking at a patient's retina. You can determine if a patient's had high blood pressure for a long time by seeing changes in the blood vessels. Sometimes you can see acute changes in blood pressure due to retinal hemorrhages. And of course, we're all familiar with Hollenhorst plaque or cholesterol emboli in the retina. But what these researchers did is they took patients who had images basically taken for diabetic retinopathy screening, and they asked the computer to search them looking for different parameters, such as age, gender, smoking status, and whether or not any of those things were associated with cardiovascular risk outcomes. And what they found was, indeed, the computer was able to predict certain risk factors, specifically blood pressure, age, and gender, based off the images alone. And so what's interesting about this is they're taking pictures that are not necessarily obviously abnormal to us. It's not your typical textbook photo, but by looking at hundreds of thousands of images, the computer was able to analyze both the blood vessels in the retina as well as the optic nerve head to find different risk factors. And they were able to take the predictive risk factors and put them into some of the more traditional cardiovascular risk models. And they found relatively good correlation between their, their findings as well as more established data. So what does this mean to us? Well, for right now, we're not going to supplant our clinical exam or a visit with your primary care doctor or cardiologist to figure out if a patient has cardiovascular risk factors. But it does show us that computers are becoming increasingly able to use images and data that we acquire to add information to us that we might have not have otherwise been aware of. So this, I think, will be another step in a long series of papers coming out of the Google Group and others that'll help us better take care of our patients and take care of our population as a whole.